All right, guys, welcome back to Into the Breach. Um, so we're doing Flame Behemoths now. I know I already have one of these little achievement things. Uh, it's because I've actually done a run with them already um, that I decided not to upload to YouTube because basically what happened was at the final boss part, um, I was kind of in a rush because I saw my time and I had to actually go somewhere. And so I didn't want to just like step away from it. So I'm like, yeah, I can finish this really fast. Uh, I, I, I fucked up. I made some mistakes. So I was like rushing things away. So, uh, yeah. Quantum entanglement. A tele teleported unit four tiles away. Uh, I wonder how you do that. Interesting. This is have five enemies on, on fire at the same time. So, okay. Alright, so get into this guy real fast. Because um, I've already done this one. I, I didn't actually look at the achievements last time I did this. I just kind of got the... Randomly got this one uh, with 12 on fire. I randomly got that at one point. So this guy uh, pushes someone back. And there's an important thing here. It says damage 2, but he will only damage things that are already on fire. Uh, you can give him more range too, which means with the double shot, I can punch him and then also... Set, uh, and then, sorry, I can punch him to set him on fire and then I'll punch him again to do damage, which is really nice. Um, so this is like a really nice one for him. Uh, this guy has Vulcan Artillery. He sets the tile on fire that he's on. Uh, and remember, the fire is like delayed damage. So this is technically one damage. Um, and you can also get a backburn ability. And also the ability for you to do... Uh, well, the backburn is kind of like the smoke one. But the smoke is disabling. This one is not. So that's pretty important. And then the last one here does two damage to the tile it lands on. So you got a lot of ways of lighting things on fire. We also have all our uh, mechs are immune to fire as well. Uh, and this guy has a teleport. Now, I'm not sure how to teleport something four, what was it, five tiles away? It's kind of weird. Who knows? Who really knows? So yeah, this guy's the best on this one here, in my opinion, but he's not that great. I'm going to start with this island again, because last time I did in the reverse order, and I'm doing this for mostly for myself. Alright, so it's a defend the tanks one. So I tell her in the back, and this guy over here. So the swapping isn't that bad. The swapping of tiles. Alright. So. They're doing some stuff here. How much damage is this guy? Yeah. Um. Let's see. Uh, best solution actually would be to light him on fire. Push him back. Uh. I would like to swap this guy. Uh, actually, that was a bad idea, because I think I can't actually tell him to not do that. But, what I can do... I was going to make them attack each other, man. Man. So, we can still do that, actually. We just have to do this. But let, let me do all the other actions. Like, set this guy on fire. Uh, I can push him back, actually. Because if I did that... Um, I would hurt the tank, so we can't do that, actually. But we can do mostly everything else. Just can't quite do the clutch thing I wanted to. I'm rushing it again. I should really not be rushing it. I should take my sweet time. Also, I put on these things here. Because I notice how people really like telling me stuff. Um, but they go, like, they give, like, descriptions of, like, upper left, you know, bottom right or some bullshit or something like that. You know, this this kind of just works out better. Uh, th by the way, if you're wondering, I don't think this was in the game when it came out, but um, I, I figure this will help out if you're like, you want to tell me about an interesting move I could have made or something, you know? Um, anyway, so easiest thing to do is to push these all away. He's not going to burn next turn. I'm thinking of punching him over there, and then doing that action. It's actually not bad. I think I should delay them by just a little bit. You know, he's gonna die. We're gonna we're gonna block the emerging vec here because uh, we don't have enough range for this, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to sit on it. I think. There you go. A lot of this, a lot of these guys appear to be more about like damage over time. So this guy's like dead next turn, and I don't have to worry about it. So that's kind of nice. 
A lot of this stuff I can do like, uh, you know, like, oh, he's trying to do some shit with me now. And you know, I can just kind of do this. Now, I have to be careful because the tanks uh, kind of don't like being uh, set on fire, as you can imagine. Um, I d I, actually, maybe they don't, don't care. It says all mechs. I don't think these count as mechs. I guess they do count as mechs because when I say I'm going to go here, okay, no, he's on fire now. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's not even chance it, right? Alright, so this guy we don't really care about. We're just supposed to defend the tanks. And there's really nothing else for us to do here, actually. Like, I mean, I don't know. No, there really, there really isn't anything, so like, I could just set the tile that he's on on fire and that's it. What matters is that uh, they are attacking useless things. Alright, well there's a couple guys here. I mean, for the most part, most of this stuff is just worthless. I mean, we can just, we can knock a lot of them around, so... Huh, maybe that's not the play. Or maybe it is the play. Okay, all I have to do is set that one on fire. He's not gonna die, is he? I don't think he will. No, it's fine. For some reason, he doesn't get pushed around. Alright. Well, there's just this guy over here, so we can just swap him so he doesn't even do any damage. But I don't think he would do any damage anyways. No, he would actually. We don't have to do anything else here with our turn. Because everybody takes fire damage at the beginning of a turn, which is why we did this. There you go. So, I cheated a bit in, in terms of like, uh, I, I have already technically done this, but you know. You guys are going to just have to live with it, because I think I think I would have got it roasted so hard if I would uploaded that part, because of that. And it was so dumb, so, you know, fuck it, I don't have to upload anything I don't want to. I'll just fucking, uh... Do my shit. I think we should actually swap these. For reasons. Alright. So, one of the really nice things about this mech right here is you can do things like this. Very good. Very, very nice. Um, as for this guy, I would like to punch his ass, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, I may have to go down here. So remember, I can push people around uh, or light the towers on on fire. I don't think this guy really gets to do all that much. Once again, movement is actually like the biggest limiting factor I find when I when I start these levels like this. Uh, so I need my mobility. All right, so he's gonna take out first, right? No, he's not. But he will die. So that's kind of nice and convenient. How much damage do you do? One. Uh, I'm just gonna let him take the damage, by the way. Uh, maybe we should go here and maybe blow them that way. Once again, this guy is just never in a good position. So we're gonna let him take. We're gonna let the, uh, the rocket take damage, and this guy's gonna light that tile on fire. But that's not enough. But that's okay. He will die in the next turn. Luckily, they have two HP. All right. So this guy wants to attack that way. Uh, okay, we got a couple of options here. Now, one of the things that this guy can do is he can push things away. When you get the damage upgrade, though, this doesn't work anymore. So I, I have determined that you are actually allowed to um, do some very interesting actions with the fire cannon here. How much damage does he do? One. Okay. It's fine. 
So the fire, they don't actually take fire damage on the buildings, because, I mean, how could you repair it, is the question. You know, there's no way for you to repair it, so you can actually set buildings on fire, and it's fine with that. The game has no problems with that at all. Alright, so this guy is a bit of a problem. Um, we're going to probably have to use him to to get that guy a little bit farther. Or maybe not. Actually, I, I think it's simple. I think it's just a matter of doing this. Uh, let's see here. So this guy's dead. Uh, this guy is not already dead. Um, so we need to swap him out or block his shot. This guy just this guy did not do anything this entire round. <laughs> Very sad about that. All right. Well, I don't think there's much we can do here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna block the the passageway here. Like he just this guy was not useful at all. But it's a mobility thing a lot. But it's just the, the situations he was in were not great. So. It was highly unfortunate. Well, we got it, though. Uh, Alright. Let's see what we got. We unlocked a bunch more stuff. Storage vaults. Destroy the dam. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And we gotta block the Vec from spawning. So this guy... Can't really... So we got a bit of an issue, because... We have to... Figure out a way to make them... Uh, useful. Because I don't have any real weapons to break the dam. It would be nice if they did it, but you know. I don't think I can, I, I don't think I can light the dam on fire. To be perfectly honest, but I guess we'll see, won't we? Oh, are you joking me? This guy is one movement tile short of being able to knock this guy into the water. Which is the story of my life. So, it says, I don't know, could, could I knock it on fire? That's a good question. Because if I can't, if I can't even make it go on fire, then there's no, even, there's even no point of me doing that kind of shit, so. And it would appear that the only action I can do is like this. Kind of like that. No, I can't even light it on fire. This is actually the worst mission. I shouldn't have done this. The only thing I could do is hope that they uh, attack the this guy. Action available. Well, there's really not much you can do. So just stay right there. I am incredibly sad right now. All right. Yeah, cause like how I, I have to I have to bait them into attacking me, right? Well, I mean, I could also do this. But this is not gonna kill him, though. Oh my god. You know what? Let's just fuck the dam. Alright. Which, we actually may not get that option anyways, because I think I can't even prevent him from doing anything here anyways, so... We're gonna do something like this. And we're gonna swap this guy in. So that's fine. Maybe we'll be able to get the dam, because I, I don't think I would have been able to prevent this anyway, so... Oh, well, oh no, he died. It's all good, actually. Alright. Uh-huh. Well, here's the problem. Two of these guys... I can't even... I can't even block the fucking things from spawning, anyways. We have problems, guys. Let me just tell- let me just put that- let me put it to you that way. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna swap this guy. We're gonna knock this guy into the water. I think we're just- I think it's just the mission we don't do any optional objectives on. I don't see a way to do it. I shouldn't have picked this, but I haven't done the damn one with this one anyways, as far as you know. I actually did it, but I- I, I did it with other weapons. Oh, I, I can actually get the damn. I can get the dam. Alright, we got it. Uh, 
Alright, you do how much damage? Not enough. Alright. Well, this guy's gonna just tank the damage, so it's fine. All we really have to do is prevent that guy from doing anything. Alright, mm, that was not the play. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is good, though. This works. Thank goodness for that, but we have to think about how to prevent this guy from hitting anything. Which I may not actually be able to do that. Because I'd have to hit this tile, and he's waterlogged. Um, and I don't have enough range for this guy to simply get out of the way. What I could have maybe done is done that before I did the dam. But I've already done the dam, so... Here I am rushing things again, and it fucking myself over. Oh well. Actually, can I maybe hit the tallies on? No. No. I, this is, I, I actually fucked myself. There was actually a way out of that. Um, I didn't think about it, but it will just do the same thing. Fuck it. So we didn't block in the Vec from spawning, but that's okay. Alright, rip. I, I go through this action, I, I go through it too fast, I don't plan it out, I don't know why. I'm, I keep thinking I've understood the game, but like, it's just a matter of... Oh good, this one. So, okay, someone explain this one to me. It's after they take damage, as in the one building, they gain a shield. So it's actually pretty bad, uh, in a lot of ways, but you know. Whatever, it's a free passive. I'm not gonna say no to something that's free. Alright, let's do something with uh, something that's uh, Tidal Wave sounds pretty good. Tidal Waves makes it pretty easy. Alright. So. I mean, a simple thing to do would be to not do this. Even though, oh, because they, are they taking reduced damage? No, they just, oh, they just have one HP, what the fuck? I don't know. Uh, we need to kind of get rid of this guy, so I'm thinking I push him back. We push him back a tile and then we swap the other two. Oh, I hurt myself, I don't know. Now this one's always a bit funky, because I set him on fire, he's gonna be over here, but it's like, you know... I don't know, man. And they still only take one more hit to die, and we block two of the, uh, the things, and we need to prevent the more mech damage, though. Alright, well, luckily they're just all dead, so you know what? Thank goodness for that. We can just, we can just repair ourselves for this turn. Because they were stupid and decided to go on the place where the tidal waves go. Oh, well, he's not going to get affected by tidal waves. As far as you know. I mean, he's not even attacking anything. What's wrong with this guy? Can't even do anything anyways. Whatever, repair yourself. There we go. Oh, what? Per perfect round? How did that happen? It's a fucking Christmas miracle. Alright, well, their AI was dumb. Eh? There's nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do. Alright, well, back to corporate HQ. Destroy the beetle leader. Alright, this guy's a jerk. Now... This artillery, I gotta keep it here, because if I put it here, then it limits the range of things I'm allowed to do with it, so... I've learned that the hard way a lot of the time. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so... Uh... Well, he's gonna kill that in one hit, so... He's gonna also set the ground on fire. So, I, I don't think there's really many opportunities here for me to make him like bait him to kill his own thing, so uh we'll just do some of this stuff. Yeah, 
And I guess we can just punch him to... No, because if we punch him to the side, he's going to hit the other building. Actually, I could do it. I just have to... Yeah. Fuck. Once again, rushing through it. I, I, I thought to myself that it wouldn't be possible, but it actually is, is completely possible. Um, I just have to do this. Punch him that way. And this artillery guy just needs to go like over here. Oh no, I can't, I can't do it. Oh well, that's, that's okay. Alright, well that was a waste of a turn. At least everything's on fire. Actually, last time I had it, uh, it would have blocked a, tur a turn, which would have been nice. Alright. So he goes beforehand, right? Uh, yeah, he goes two and he does three damage. This guy has three HP, so... We will just allow that to... Go the way it does. This may be unfortunate, though. So I, I have I have a couple options. I can move both of them down, but the thing is I won't kill them both anyways. I think this is the uh, this is probably the best option right here. But he's got to they're gonna take fire damage at the beginning of the turn. This guy is fine because uh, he's gonna he's gonna kill him in the first turn. There we go. What do we get for our level ups? Alright, we kind of want to deal with this guy, I'm not going to lie. So we do have some options for that. Actually, undo move. Uh, I don't have any options here. Because I want to set him on fire now, right? Alright. We'll just block one of these ones and repair himself. So what do we get as our mech move and we got mech HP, alright. That's from the two pilots that don't do anything really. So one more punch and this guy's, this guy's a gunner right here. Alright, so we're gonna have to swap some shit around. Maybe just do this. Which is a terrible idea. It's just a matter of s swapping them out like that, I think. Alright, we go one punch this guy. He's gonna die next turn, so we don't have to worry about his attack right now. Uh, all we need to do is just prevent him from attacking this building. I mean, that's simple. Uh, I'm still gonna get hit by that, but that's okay. I, the, the, the point of it was to prevent him from... Uh, Stopping this guy from moving so we could kill the boss. So, we don't care. Alright, nice. Well, we got upgrades. Uh, does this count as. No, it didn't count as a perfect island because we missed one of those objectives. How unfortunate. Grab a unit and toss it behind you. That's not too useful for the guy that wants to flamethrower things and can hit twice. Uh, we don't have a brute uh, mech. Targeted strike would be pretty good. Smash the ground dealing huge damage and uh, and pushing adjacent tiles. Uh, this wouldn't be the worst thing on the planet. Um, but I kind of like the targeted strike because we can give uh, some utility to someone else, right? That's the point of it, so... Um, we'll give the auto shields to this guy. Because you can't just do that. The auto shields will be like the first to go anyway, so, you know. I guess we could do double shot now, and let's give someone more mobility like this guy. Or no, range on the teleport is actually really good. Uh, range is so nice. I would like to get another point uh, for move, but yeah. we we. It's really important, but not that really important, you know? But anyways, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.